Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the copycat Android malware. Researchers at Checkpoint recently released a blog post discussing a new piece of Android malware called Copycat that has infected over 14.4 million devices around the world. They found this malware way back in March and reported it to Google then, but it's been spreading for a while now. At the highest level, this malware arrives as a malicious app that a user has to install on their device themselves. Once the uh, malware installs, however, it then tries to take advantage of vulnerabilities in older Android devices to try to root the device as well. Whether or not it can get root, it also does a number of other things like injecting uh, into Zygote and using the Zygote process to download and install other apps on the Android device for the specific intent of generating revenue for these malicious actors. There's programs where if you get people to install apps, it gets you revenue. Uh, the malware will also cause your uh, Android device to visit ad revenue generating uh, links as well. Now, so far, this malware seems to have infected over 14 million Android devices, largely in the Asia Pacific, but also around 12% in the US and a number of European devices as well. Now, it's not always able to root devices. Apparently, it's only been able to root 8 million so far, but that doesn't stop it from doing other things as well. And apparently, this malware has already generated a significant amount of income for its authors. So, how does this malware get on your Android device? Well, you have to install it. Really, the only way to get this malware is by sideloading applications onto your Android device. Not using the official Google Play Marketplace, but going to some sort of third party and downloading software that's not really official. So really, this is true for almost all Android-related attacks and malware. If you simply stay away from third party unsanctioned or, or kind of unofficial sources of, of Android malware, and you can even turn off the ability for Android to sideload applications, if you do that, you'll remain safe from a lot of threats like this. Anyway, another interesting piece of Android malware. Be sure to check the reference section of this video for more information. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.